Hello, this is Michael McCarthy, and in this video we're going to take a look at using splines to create guides for your hair in Ornatrix. Now in most cases you might take your base mesh and use guides from surface in order to create guides on it and then comb them with the Ornatrix tools. If you're a little more old school you might want to create those guides out of splines yourself or if you were to import splines in from an external package like ZBrush uh, you might want to create guides from splines that way. So in that case, what we're going to do is we have this spline object and we have our cat head here that we've kind of uh, turned off the um, skin and the morpher for. And we're going to take this spline object and associate it and use it as guides for this character's head. Now the first thing that I want to do is align the pivot points uh, so that they are the same for both the mesh object and the splines. This can be important because otherwise when you ground them, you can get some wonky results. So let's go over to Effect Pivot Only. And I'm going to choose Quick Align and I'm just going to align it to that mesh. Now they're in the same place. Another thing you might notice is that Y is pointing up here and that can also produce some strange results. So we're going to say Align to Worlds so that we have Z pointing up for both objects. Once you do this, you may want to go and reset your X form. So if I go over to Edit, I can choose Transform Toolbox and click on the little Reset X Form tool here, uh, which is pretty useful. Okay, so now I'm ready to add my Ornatrix modifier. So I'm going to go in and choose Ornatrix Guide from Shape, and that's going to turn our splines into guides. Next, what we want to do is associate these guides with our mesh. So we're going to go and choose OX Ground Strands. We'll pick our base surface and choose Fluffy's head here and then we'll click on ground strands. Once we've done that we should be set to go. So we can go and select uh, Fluffy's head here. We can turn our skin and morpher back on and I'll just kinda scrub the timeline slightly so our hair pops into place. And if I go back over here you can see that the guides are deforming with the character per correctly. And I can add on my other Ornatrix modifier. So I'm gonna paste the ones that I had on before and we'll add a new OX hair from guides. And there we go. There's a character using a spline setup to create the hair for the character's head. I hope that helps you when using splines to set up your hair for Ornatrix. Thank you very much.